Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez with creatingwithali.com and today I am super excited because I'm going to be sharing with you um, I gave myself a little challenge to make as many cards as I could using mainly the one suite and the one sketch so definitely I'm very excited because um, I'm going to be showing you some of that samples and I'm going to go a little bit through the process of, uh, of that also <clears throat> um, I couldn't come yesterday <laughs> to the Facebook Live, mainly because I was filming some videos and I couldn't get my act together to finish in time for that. And so I'm so excited to be here, but just remember this is not my regular time, but uh, for this week it is. Next week we'll be back to the Thursday. And so anyway, so we're gonna be using the Snail Mail, which if you have not seen that suite, is the one that is on page, what is this? 54 out of the January and June catalog. And this is the one that has those cute little critters. It does have a stamp set. And I'll show you more about that um, when I flip the camera, but definitely this is one of my favorites. And before I forget, um, this is the last month for celebration. And you know um, that during this time frame, so January and February, so now it's just February, um, for every $50 that you spend, you get one item for free out of the um, celebration brochure. And so there are items that are $50 and some uh, free with a $50 uh, order and some other items are free with $100 as well. So definitely it is uh, the perfect time for you to start uh, stocking up on all your supplies for stamping up because you get free products with it. So anyway, so let me start flipping the camera because for sure there's so many things that I wanna be sharing with you and I know you're gonna be getting <laughs> excited with these. So anyway, let me know in the comments where you are um, looking or where are you watching from while I am transitioning. Hi, uh, Kay, thank you so much for sharing. Hi, Lori. Hi, Pat. <laughs> you're so sweet. Hi, uh, hi, Vicky. Hola, gordita. Anyway, so, oh, hi, Dorothy. So anyway, let me start flipping uh, the camera and then we'll go from there. Let's see, let's see, there we go. And I'm gonna try to move this. So <clears throat> the first thing is a few months ago, so about in September last year, we did a challenge and at a time we used these sketches. So if you were part of that challenge, you already have this one. I'll be sharing this, um, this is sketch once I post in my blog, but pretty much you can see that um, the sketch is very simple, which is one of the things that I love about the sketches is that I try to go with things that are really, really uh, simple. And then from there, we'll do as many cars. So you can see here is just a rectangle, a circle, and then a banner. And please note that from the sketches, you can be changing the circles to other shapes. And also you can play with the background with uh, lots of different techniques or papers or whatnot. Um, the, the first thing that you can start doing is changing the uh, sketch from a vertical to a horizontal and that always also helps spicing things up. Um, now for this one I decided to use the snail mail and my challenge was to use half of a sheet of every single sheet and then make as many cards as I could from this suite. Now when I'm doing this usually I try to pull out either the stamp sets or whatever I have that coordinates with this one so in this case I'm using the bundle which is the snail it and so you can see there has a coordinating stamp set, the sentiments, and then of course there's a die set that goes with it. <clears throat> I'm also gonna be using the heart, uh, resin hearts embellishments, and there's also uh, the twine pack, the, what is this? The snail melt twine combo pack, which has the pink and the white. So definitely I try to pull things like that, but if you don't have these, remember you can always uh, change these with either rhinestones or pearls, uh, or some other embellishments that you have. Also for this one, I could also be thinking of using other ribbon. So uh, I could pull, um, what is this thing? I think it's metallic ribbon. Yeah, the metallic ribbon, and this one comes in the blushing bright, which is one of the colors from this paper. I could also pick the uh, whisper white, which is the metallic edge ribbon in the silver. And you can see this is the white, or I can even go with the real red. So just pick whatever you have. Really, when you're trying to come up with cards, just use whatever you have in the coordinating set. And the last thing that I would do is just uh, pick some um, 
uh, die, die cuts that are labels related. And so these are the two that are my favorite. I love using the state chips framelits because this one gives me the circles, <clears throat> the ovals, and there's also a squares. So this one by far is one of my favorites because it gives me so many shapes. And then also the so sweetly dies so you're going to be seeing how I'm using them because it gives me other shapes. And of course I get the rectangle. So these by far are my favorite. And if you are into layering, then of course you can get the layering squares as well as the layering circles. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and start real quick making the cards. Most of my cards have the same measurements as far as the, uh, the car base and the layers, because we're going to be just uh, mix and matching. But I just wanted to give you some ideas of what you can be doing. And then finally, from the paper, one of the things that I love to see is the color so that I can pick a piece of cardstock of each of the different colors that I see. So in this case will be the Blushing Bright, the Daffodil Delight, uh, Bermuda Bay, and the Real Red. Those are the four colors that I pick from this suite, which are the ones that pretty much appear in every single paper of this uh, collection. And then the other thing is that if I see images that I can cut out, I can for sure, uh, I would be uh, cutting out them because that helps me go even faster. Now for this one in particular, um, we have dies that will cut this uh, snail and also, let me see what is, one is the other one. And also this one. There's also a die to cut out the letters. So these letters. And then what else do I see? And those are the only ones. Oh, and the sentiments. Let me just show you that one. Where are the sentiments? One has, yeah, these ones. So these little bubbles that says hello or hi or bonjour or um, all these other ones, these ones can be can cut out as well. So you can see here, you can cut out with that one or those one or the little snails. The rest of the images, like for instance, this other guy, you have to cut out with your scissors. And same thing with this one. This one, uh, you can also be cutting out with your scissors. So again, um, I would just spend some time to cutting out those images and I'll just have them ready because at that point it just makes it very easy. So like I said, I've already kind of put together all the cards um, or the idea, as you know me. And then it's just a matter of putting them together. But I want to show you how you can be changing the direction or the shapes and you can come up with as many cards as you want. So, um... Anyway, so for instance, in this case, and like I said, most of my cards have the same measurement. So the card base usually is half of a sheet in the eight, five and a half by eight and a half. And then as far as the um, designer series paper in this case, or, or my layer, this one is four and three quarters by five. I'm sorry, by, wait a minute, hold on. I'm doing this wrong. Four, yeah, four and three quarters by um, three and a half. Sorry, yes. And then this one is just one eighth of an inch um, larger. So this one is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. So all of my uh, cards are gonna be, or all the measurements for the majority will be that way. So if I don't see, or if I don't say the measurements, know that, know that that's how I am going. So the first thing of course is just folding your card in half. So I usually put out point to point in this side and then use the bone folder. And then as you can see, again, I'm following that um, a sketch that I showed you at the very beginning, which is this one again. And I'm gonna be using for this particular one, this uh, the one that goes horizontal. And um, one thing that I like is, or that I've started doing a lot is that when I do it, when I see it this way, I can also shift a little bit. You can see like, I can put them this way and that will be like the first modification that you can be doing on your cards. You can just be shifting a little bit things and now you get a different look from the regular rectangle, right? So I'm going to be doing that for this one. Let's just go ahead and do that. Where's my... All right. And so I'm going to be shifting this one a little bit. And then I'm going to be taking this one on the opposite side, as you can see. See that? And then I can see more of the pinks, even though it's only um, 
one eighth of an inch larger, I can see a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead. And in this one, you might wanna be careful with the direction of your paper when you're gluing and when you're cutting it so that you have these little guys at, on the position that you want. Like this one would look funny if it was in this direction, right? So just make sure you look into that as you're cutting your paper. I'm gonna be using this one. And of course, as I mentioned, I have these little guys and I wanna put this and have that one right there. So I'm gonna be cutting this one with the Taylor Tag Punch. And I'm gonna be cutting out the banner ends. So I love doing that with this. This is one of my favorite um, uh, punches because it just helps me do those banners real quick. And I feel like I want this one flat and then this one raised. So let's just do that. Um, let's just do that. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here and again i'm using everything in the colors um that i sew in the paper right so you can see here there's the red the pink the yellow right so i tried to do that a lot because then everything kind of coordinates really nicely and so that's one of the things that i love from stamping up is like everything kind of coordinates really really nice when you start pulling out all the colors from the designer series paper so i'm going to go ahead and put this one like so and then on this one i'm going to go ahead and add um what is this the dimensional so just give me a second here here we go so let's just put dimensionals i know i have one of the many dimensionals for this section same thing with these let's just add one I might need to cut for this side. There we go. And same thing here. Okay. And then same thing here on this one. I probably should have added all the dimensionals already. Uh, just to make this quicker. But okay. We'll go from there. And let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Usually I have no trouble filling these uh, dimensionals and today I'm having a hard time. How about that? When I want it to go really fast because I really don't want to be taking too much time. Um, but I definitely want to show as many cars as I can. If that makes sense. Alrighty. So let's just go ahead and put this one here. And by the way, um, so I'm going to be opening pretty soon uh, the Card Making 101 program, which is the one where I show you how to come up with car ideas. And so if you're interested in that, make sure you are on the wait list because um, the program is not open at the time. Um, but if you are on that wait list, uh, you're going to be access, you're going to have access to the um workshop that I was preparing yesterday. The reason I wasn't here yesterday was I was finalizing that workshop. And so um, if you want to have that free workshop where I show you exactly the process of how to come up with so many cards, definitely make sure you're on that wait list, which you're going to see the link on the description of this video. Um, and so I'll show you what I use as inspirations and how I go about to come up with cards. And, um, and so, yeah, I think that you're going to enjoy it. So anyway, if it's of interest, make sure you're on that wait list. And again, the link is on the description of the video. And so now I'm going to go ahead and you sew these, I'm going to go ahead and put this little guy there. Uh, where is the glue dots here? Hopefully I don't lose things because a lot of the times I end up losing everything as I am filming, <laughs> but so far, so good, we're gonna go right there. And then I'm gonna be adding some of these little um, hearts. Cause I think they add a lot of things. And again, if you don't have hearts, you can use your rhinestones, you can color them with the, um, what is this? The I'm gonna put one more here. I feel like it needs another one right there. 
you can put as little or as many as you want. So I definitely love those little ones. And then if I want to embellish a little bit more, I thought it would be nice to add that little heart. And then also its shell. I feel like having that shell with the um, wink of a stella will make it pop up even more. Probably I'll do the same with this guy. Let's do, let's give him a little bit of something. And you're gonna see how how beautiful and how easy it was. You can see it here. So there you go, what do you think? And really easy, right? Again, the big thing would be to just spend a little bit of time and cut out as many of these little pieces because then you go, it goes faster. Now this one, I'm not even stamping on this one. So it goes really fast. But of course, um, I can put here a piece of Whisper White and then a stamp. Um, if you don't have a paper, and you can use, do this with any paper, if you don't have a paper that has these little critters, then use either punches or uh, stickers or any other stamp set that you can cut out and then decorate it. So definitely goes really, really, really easy that way. Let me show you another one. And so for this one, kind of about the same, but this time I'm going to go with this um, in this direction. And on this one, instead of having only the one banner, I'm gonna be putting two banners. So uh, again, um, once you start making them, you're gonna see that it goes really fast. And same thing with this one, you can go and put them like so, uh, or move them a little bit like that. I actually like this one this way as well. So I'm just gonna go with that. And the other thing is that I use a lot of the times the the piece that I'm going to be putting in the background just to make my cutouts because these are the ones that I'm going to be using on future cards. So that also helps me when I am creating um, my cards because um, as I am cutting the paper, I can use the, the, um, the mat. Let me just make sure I am. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there we go. Um, just to cut out more of the pieces that I'm going to be needing for my cards. So we have this way. And same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and move it like so, yeah. And again, measurements were the same as the beginning, so um, you can watch the replay, because I wanna make sure I go as fast as possible so we can make as many as we can. And if it starts getting too late, hopefully it's not the case, but if it starts getting too late, then I'll show you the designs of the other ones and then I post pictures when I finish. But definitely wanna make sure we make as many. You can see here how it looks. And again, the direction of the paper uh, is something that I would pay attention when I am cutting my paper. So, all right. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do these. Okay, now same as with the other one, we're going to be putting this one now on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one like right here. I'm going to go ahead and do the same. I love uh, doing banner ends with the Taylor Tag Punch. Oh, this one kind of, it's kind of crooked. So let me, there we go, much better. There we go. And you can see now these little banners, especially like this one, really came from scraps. So I tried to look for all my scraps to see how I can use them um, as much as I can on the cards. Um, especially for banners, you know, like the creating things. Usually banners are always the scraps. So I will be adding this one like so. Yeah, and then adding again those little Greater. So I'm going to go ahead and add this one, like so, and same thing with that one. All right, and then same thing with that. I'm going to be putting this little guy here, and then have the hello. And on this one, I actually want to have... I'm gonna move this ones more towards this side so that I can see more of the heart pattern because I love that heart pattern. That that one was of my favorite. Yeah, let's move a little bit things up. So same as with the other one, let's add some dimensionals. I probably won't be adding as many. Again, just because I want to be, um, well, I don't know. I get always caught up with the 
where are my scissors here? Here. I'm like, where are the scissors? So let me just cut out these ones. There we go, and then one more here. And then this one I'll add two. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and peel all of these. Oh, I feel like I need another one right there. Okay. Oh my God, some. Some are getting, I don't know. I usually don't have any issues peeling them, but like I said, some are getting, there we go, I'm gonna be putting this one right here. I not want that one right here. And then let's peel off this one. Glad you're liking it, okay, thank you. So let's just go ahead and peel this ones as well. And so I'm gonna be adding this one right here. And now for this one, I wanna add um, this one, like so, you know, like a little thing right there, um, like a little cluster of a gift and everything. So let me just, for this, when they're really little, I found it, it's hard for me to use my uh, seal. It's just too large. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use, um, I'm gonna go ahead and add like this one right there and then this one somewhere here and then this one I'm gonna add um, some like one dimensional and one of the little ones just want to make sure that it's covered yep oh there we go so let's just do that And so this one will go like right here. And so the next thing will be to add a little bow. Now this one has too much pink, so I will go with the Whisper White. Hola tia. And um, we're gonna go ahead and do the same. Okay. And I'm doing it a, a double one because I feel like you get a better um, I don't know. They look a little bit nicer when you do double bows than when you do um, a one single bow. Although they do look nice as well. So I usually like when I have it double. So I'm going to go ahead and put that. And I'm going to go ahead and bring the glue dot. And here we go. I'm gonna be adding this one right there. And of course, we're gonna be adding some of the hearts. And uh, on this one, I'll be honest, I like the red ones uh, more, although I can see myself coloring those with the blends. So, um, but for the sake of this, uh, of this video, I'm making it a little bit faster. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, put those like so. And, and again, we're gonna go ahead and add some of that Wink of Estella to that little guy, as well as this one, and then the heart on that letter, because I thought that will be really nice to add, and it just looks super cute. So here you have it. So you can see card number one, I'm sorry, it's card number two. I don't even know what I did with the, oh, here it is. So you can see these are very similar, right? Um, different layout in a way that this is vertical, the other one is uh, horizontal, but pretty much the same. Um, okay, so now let's go with the third one. Now for this one, I changed the shape. So instead of having um, my regular circle, in this one, I decided to use like a cluster of die cuts. And again, this is where I love uh, having those um, die cuts because it always helps me and you can see that I'm always doing the same where I cut my the um, the mat because from this I can make another car. So let's go ahead and do the same. We're gonna go ahead and and um, 
fold or a card base. Again, eight and a half by five and a half. Now for these ones, I usually, for this one, I, I do want to have it all straight. So we're gonna go ahead and glue it like so. Um, rather than shifting it as the other ones, um, just to also make them look a little bit different, right? So let's just go ahead and and add this one. Oh, I put adhesive there. Need to be careful here. There we go. And we're gonna be adding this one right on the center of this card. So you can see how, um, in this case, I'm just having a little tiny border rather than shifting it. Same measurements that I talked in the beginning. And so for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and add this one flat. And all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this one like so. Then I'm gonna be um, cutting out the this piece of um, Daffodil Delight. And it is three quarters of an inch. Um, and then the length is just, um, I always have like these strips and I know it's gonna be uh, long enough to kind of cover, but if you need the measurement, it's like four, yeah. This one is four. It might have been like four and a half because I cut out some of it. Um, but again, just a piece that is long enough for that. And I might even cut a little bit more. I feel like this one is kind of too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little bit more. Yes, because I'm gonna be adding then this section. And then for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and add as well this little um, piece. And again, I'm just using the scraps. All right, oh, and I cut it out all. There we go, much better. And let me see, the, how do I like it? So I know this one will be there. This one I want it raised, and then, do I want that one like so? I feel like I need to cut it out, you know? No, I'm gonna leave it like that. That's okay, I like it that way. So, and again, you can always be playing with uh, how it looks, and if you don't like it, then you can be changing um, different things on your on your design, as you're seeing here. All right, for this one, I'm gonna be racing that one. So let's just add one. Maybe another one here. Okay, and I don't know what it is with this one, because usually they peel off really quick, and I don't know, I'm having a little bit of a trouble this time with the dimensionals for whatever reason. Okay, so this one is raised, and then for this one, I'm gonna put it all, um, There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and add it like so. And then I'm gonna be raising this one. And I'm gonna be adding that one like right here. Yes. So now for this one, I need the dimensionals on this section. And I wouldn't be, yeah, that one will be nice. Hi, Marla. Thank you so much, Linda, for sharing. I really appreciate it. So I'm gonna be adding also like one dimensional, especially for the ones that are kind of raised. There we go. And where is my little guy? I'm gonna go ahead and put this one flat because this one already has some dimensional. And like, I love dimensionals, but usually, um, I've been hearing that sometimes it cuts, it, it causes issues with the mail. So let's just get it with only one. All right, there we go. And there we go. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and add the wink of Estella, the heart, and maybe a little bow on this one. Now for this one, um, I feel like it's missing some of that red. So I might do a bow <clears throat> instead of using the, instead of using the, um, what it is, the twine. Maybe I just go ahead. Let's just see one small little bow and add a red bow. <clears throat> yeah, like it looks really nice with that. So let's just go ahead and have this one. So I'm gonna go with these and add that little bow right there. Yeah, that kind of looks nice. Um, and it pops again that red from the background because it's only one little piece of red. So definitely love having a little bit of that red to pop up. And then of course we're gonna be adding the um the hearts. Which I'm just gonna go ahead and add one here and one there and then one there. Oh my god, yes. There we go, yes. And here we go, we have now card number three. Wink of Estella in the eyes, I've not thought about that. But we can put it, let's see how it looks. Wink of Estella in the whole eye? Well, I already did it. <laughs> I don't know if I like it that much. I do like the shell for sure and the heart. I don't know that I like the eyes, but you can, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, so anyway, so here you have it. So that's card number three. So let's go now with um, another one. Like I said, we're gonna be trying to do as many tonight. Um, Cause you can see how, how easy this is. And so for this one though, again, I changed the, um, I changed the, whew, what am I saying, the shape. And so again, I have those little pieces. I have again, this little guy. On this one though, I did um, the stamp already cause this is the one that I was playing just to see if I like it. And I've used this stamp that says you've got mail. And so I have that mail cut out in the Daffodil Delight. And um, and I die cut also two happies from the well, what is this, well said, hold on. I know I had it somewhere, yeah, here it's the well written framelit. So I just cut out uh, two of them. And I cut them down with the uh, adhesive sheets already so that they are kind of like a sticker already. So let's just put those together. And I did two because I want to glue them together so that I can have like a thicker, a thicker um, die cut. Now you could also cut them out with the foam sheets, but I'll be honest, I think I like it better when I just put them together like so. It gives them that thickness and you don't show any of the white. And so I like that a lot, a lot better. So anyway, so same as with the other ones, I'm just going to be folding this one in half and so I have those pieces here and you can see here, like I mentioned, this is where I cut out all my pieces. I'm going to be gluing this one like so, so they're not going to be seeing anything from that end. And let me just put this like so. Where's my glue? Here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put this together. And again, this is the same measurements that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So if you're just joining us, um, you can watch the replay and get that. Um, I'm trying to make as many cards tonight just to show you how many you can get. And um, what I did on this one, like I mentioned at the beginning, um, it was just half of a sheet of all of the different sheets in the pack. So it was six different designs and I just cut it um, at half, so six by 12. And this is how many cards I was able to come up uh, following the one sketch. So now I'm going to be putting this one flat. Where's my 
and I might need to change also adhesive before we finish. If that's the case, I might need to take a pause real quick because I don't have the adhesive right here. But anyway, hopefully that's not the case, but you can see I'm going to be adding this one here, that one right there. I'm going to be adding the happy mail. So I'm going to be putting this one right there and then this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and take two of, actually, no, let's just use one of these because I want to cut out all my, um, yeah, I want to finish that. Um, this is straight already. There we go. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one like right here. So it says happy mail. And we're going to take, again, I love um, die cutting this one with the adhesive sheet because it just makes it a uh, sticker. So I don't have to be um, putting any more adhesive. It already is like a sticker. So I'm going to put that way there. Then this one is going to go right here with dimensionals. Where are my dimensionals? So, okay, so I'm going to be adding this one like right there, and then this one right here. So I'm going to be adding two. And so I'm going to go ahead and add this one like right there. And then for this one, I do like this. Um, and in fact, I like this one to be somewhere here so that you can see more of that age, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and add a few of those glue dots. Underneath that, actually, do I like it this way? Okay, and then I might be adding this one, like so. Yep, and then this one, same thing. I'm going to be adding this one like this. Yes, so I love that. Uh, it makes it look better with the edge. Now, I am going to go ahead and add the, um, what is this, the Wink of a Stell again on the shell. I don't know if that's how it, you call these from the snail, but let's just put it that way. And maybe, you know what? I'll add a little bit to the letters. Oh yeah, definitely. That makes them look even better. And you can see I have to kind of be careful with the letters because um, it will show up on the red cardstock if I don't. I probably should have done this one before gluing them but I just thought about it after I glued them. So, um, yeah, but you can see it was easy. It wasn't that bad. And then I can add a bow. And on this one, I feel like a white bow will be nice or the pink one. No, probably the white one. Let's just go and find them. Where is this one? Yeah, the one, the, no, I want the white one. I think the white one will look better. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and do a double bow. Oh, thank you, Pat. Honestly, I just follow the colors from the designer series paper. So you mentioned you like how I um, do the contrasting colors, but um, I just follow the colors from the designer series paper. So it, that makes it so easy all the time. So let's just go ahead and we're going to be, where would I put it? Do I want it here? No, I actually want it here. I feel like it will be nicer on this section. 
and we're gonna go ahead and bake it up. And there we go. So here you have it. See how nice it looks. So this is card number four. Now along the same lines, changing the um, pattern or not the pattern, but the um, the shape. So instead of doing a uh, a circle, this time I use one of the die cuts from the same um, bundle. So I love this one because it looks like a post image, right? And so I just cut out a piece of paper that will go right there. I thought it was a square, but it wasn't. <laughs> so this one is two and one eighth by two. So it's just a little bit off. So it's not totally a square. And again, I thought it was a square until I cut the paper and I'm like, hmm, it's not fitting. And then of course, this one is also um cut out now this one you do have to use your scissors there's no die cut for this one but it wasn't that bad in cutting it and then i have this hello so um and i this one i also have two of the um scraps to make those little banners so let's just go ahead and do this one so let's just fold it in half and for this one, I think I do want it to have again that, and you can see where I'm cutting all the, um, what am I saying here? All my shapes, right? Like for card number two or three, I think I use this shape. So definitely use your card stock, um, especially the mats, because that's how, um, yeah, that's how you can uh, use everything you have and, and go even faster, right? Because you're using exactly with your cutting so you're not wasting your paper so definitely so let's go ahead and and you can see how mixing and matching always helps so let's just go this way yep it's the same thing with this one thank you so much margaret i really appreciate you sharing it thank you thank you so there we go. We're going to go ahead and put him like that. I'm going to try to So we're going to be moving it a little bit on an angle as well. Now for this one, I'm going to be putting it like right here. Yes, maybe more towards this side. Or maybe I'm going to put it yeah, more towards this side so that I don't have any trouble with this. Hello. So let's go ahead and add this one. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this one like right there. There we go. And I thought this one will go really well with that um, pattern because it has kind of like the same shape. And so this one for sure, I want it to be raised. So let's just use dimensionals. So let's go ahead and same thing with this one. Let's just go ahead and use that one. Hi, Arlene. All right, and then for this one, um, let's go ahead and cut out the banner ends using the Taylor Tag Punch. liking it done yeah i thought that this this set was really cute when i saw it definitely let me just see how do i want it do i want it like so i feel like i'm gonna be putting it a little bit like or maybe i put this no i do want to show more of the pink do i want both by the way oh my god i like 
yeah and then I'm gonna be adding this one right there or maybe I want this one here that one there yeah I think I like that one so I can see more of that pink yeah like I said you can always play it with it and see how you like it so Oh, I put it all the way to the top. I'm going to be putting this one more towards this side. And then that one right here. There we go. And then let's just add this little guy now. Yeah, the colors in this one are really, really nice. I'll be honest, I almost never use that, um, what is this called, the blushing bright, but I'm loving how it goes with this whole set, especially with like the yellow. I never thought I would like that. And I am liking it a lot. The next car actually uses the, the pink and the yellow, and I was surprised with how, how cute it looks. Now for this one, definitely want to be adding the pink, um, uh, twine so let's just do one of those double bows there we go and we're gonna go ahead and cut it out And I feel like I want to have that one like right here. So let's just use like a little dot. Here we go. And then let's add some of those uh, little hearts as well. And this one, I feel like There we go, one like that. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. And like so, there we go. And of course, we're gonna be adding some Wink of Estella. Now for this one, I thought of putting a Wink of Estella on his bow, his bow tie as well as his bag. Not so much not so much his shelf at the back. I thought that that would be nicer. I don't know why I thought that, but yeah. And you know what? We can even add one of those little hearts um, for this one. There we go. It looks really cute. So here you have it, changing a little bit. <laughs> So, um, anyway, so here you have this one, and this is card number five. So let's go to the next one, and this is the one that goes with the pinks and the yellows that I didn't know that I was going to like, but I did like. So here you have it. I feel like it looks very cheerful, and it's again with the same guy. Now, on this one, as I mentioned, I cut my paper 6 by 12, and when I cut it, I kind of cut a little bit of, uh, of some part of this little guy. You can still use it, so you can still go ahead and cut it. Um, the big thing is that you might want to add something else to kind of cover that section so no one will know that it's not complete. See that? You don't even tell that it's cut out. So for this one, I'm using the, um, what is this, the real red. So let's just go ahead and, and see how, I mean, just play it with the different patterns and the different colors and you get so many more cards. I'm going to go ahead and do exactly the same as the other one. I'm just going to go ahead and and uh, move them or shift them because I do like a lot how it looks. And again, you can see that in most of my cards, I tend to um, use the mats for my die cuts because I know I'm going to be using them throughout the designing part. 
and since I am, um, yeah, since I'm like making a whole set, then it's just easier for me that way. So there we go. Oh my god, I have some of the glue in my finger. There we go. And then this one will go that way. And I'm gonna shift them a little bit. Hi, Carol, glad you made it. I'm glad you find me. Yeah, this is not my typical day, but again, I couldn't do it yesterday. So definitely um, excited to be here with you. So here we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the banner ends with the Taylor Tuck punch. Oh, you like, Susan, you like the, uh, the, the heart in the book. I thought so, right? I mean, kind of give him a little bit of personality. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and add this one here. I'm going to put this one like right there. And this, um, this pattern, I think, was like my favorite. I don't know. The little hearts was really cute. Definitely love that one. And so let's go ahead and add this one. And again, for this one, the key thing will be to put them in a way that you don't see it was cut out, right? You can see it that way. It kind of looks, um, yeah, it kind of looks like this one is on top and you don't really see it. So yeah, make sure you, um, when you have something like that, you can still use them. In the past, I would not use it, and I would be like, oh my goodness, there's, I mean, there's so much that I could be using, but now it's just always thinking of way that you can still use them and overlap it with other shapes or other uh, cutouts, because that way I can still um, use it, because I feel like at that point, it's like wasting a really nice um, um, cutout. I'm gonna be putting two of that one. And then on this one, I'm going to go ahead and put it more on this side. Is that right? Yeah, because this one will be with the glue dots. I'll check on that one before. Oh, and I need two on this one. There we go. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and... There we go. And so I'm gonna be moving this one more towards this side because I wanna be adding. So I do need a um, little one here. There we go. See that? I can put him like that. And then I'll add um, a glue dot, but I'm gonna be putting this one first. And then once I have it that way, then I'll bring the glue dots. I might need another one. And there we go. Now for this one, oh, and then I need to add I need to be adding, um, oh my God, again. It seems like some, I'm having some issue with some, but not all. There we go, I'm gonna be adding this one there. And so I'm gonna be adding then the Wink of Estella again. I'll put him in his backpack or wherever he's holding the cards, the bow tie. We're gonna be adding another of those little hearts, the white hearts there. And I'm gonna just add a little bit of on these spots on this mushroom. There we go. So for this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and add, there we go. Use that one and I'll put another of the bows. Now, do I want it with the pink? Maybe not because everything is so pink. So maybe with the, yeah, with the white. Again, I tend to do a lot of the double bows with the twine. I feel like those looks really cute. There we go. 
And here we go. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. I'm glad you're liking it. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and pick it up. And I'm going to be adding it. Do I like it here? No, I think I like it on this side. It was kind of empty on that side. And so here you have it. So now this is card number six, and I still have two more to go. What do you think, guys? This one is really cute, right? So now um, the next one... So the next one is now at this point, I'm kind of not having any more, a lot of the design series, but now let me show you real quick. So from the six by 12s of one of each, this is what I had to steal from uh, my scrap. So you can see that I'm trying to use as much as I can. And um, on this one, you can see that in this case, really the design series paper is more for like the embellishment um, than the pattern I see in the other, like the background I see the other ones. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now for this one, I do have to stamp the mail just to have the same as with the other one. And so what I do is I just take the stamp set and I'm gonna be coloring that word. And I'm gonna be stamping it on my... You have to be careful to not color anything else. And then, and then we're gonna be just cutting it. Hopefully I did it right. Yes, I will show the sketch again. Um, oh my goodness, what am I doing here? <laughs> and I have to clean this one now. <laughs> um, but yes, I'll be showing the sketch in a second again. Um, okay, sorry. Um, okay, so now at this point it's just Cutting it, and you can see it's just, I'm not using the trimmer or anything. I just want the word. Because I have the words that says happy, and I wanted to say happy mail. I feel like that's really cute, so I have that. Now for these ones, um, you can see here, same as with the other one. So instead of using designer series paper, I'm using the basic white. And one of the things is that when I start using the, um, cardstock then I'll emboss it because I feel like it adds a lot more um, of dimension and it doesn't look like just plain paper so definitely do that um, again that's another change that you can do to your sketch and let me just go with that here and um, what am I doing here now for this one, yes, I'm going to be putting everything straight, not really shifting anything. Here it is. Let's just go ahead and put this one right in the center. Now for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right on the center as well, as you can see. Now for this, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one here. Okay. And I'm gonna just put this one right uh, flat out. Okay, I do have to watch for that pattern because I want the hearts to be in the right direction. So if you, um, if you're like me and sometimes you look into those things, yeah, just make sure the direction of your pattern. Now this one will be like so, All right? Look at how, uh, how cute it <laughs> looks. And um, same as with the other one, I, I'm gonna be laying it up these two die cuts. And again, this is from the Well Wishes and I have two of them. So I'm just gonna pair them because it gives that thickness. 
and it looks, I think that it looks even nicer. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring um, the Wink of Estella so it's easier because last time I did it at the very end. Well, I don't know that that's easier. Who knows? Maybe I do need to wait until it's glued down. We'll see. No, I think it's fine. And so I'm just adding some Wink of Estella to, to the word. There we go. Now for this one, I'm going to go ahead and add this one. I think that it would look nice if I put like happy mail. So I'm not doing the, uh, what am I saying here? I'm not doing the banner because I thought that this one kind of looks like so if I put him in this position. So I'm not going to be adding banners in this one. So again, you just, let me just show it real quick. So I am following this sketch. And so I am either following this one or that one, which you can see in essence is a rectangle or two rectangles and um, a circle or a label and then a banner. And I show you how many times you can or how many things you can be changing in some has been the shape in some others might be instead of one adding two and some has been shifting a little bit the paper so again you can be doing so many things in this case was instead of using designer series paper let's just use an embossed um, cardstock and instead of a banner i'm going to be using this one and put them in a way that it looks kind of like the banner shape right so again too many things that you can be doing with a sketch and so if you're ever struggling with coming up with uh, ideas on uh for your cars definitely give it a try i feel like that's the one thing that i use the most um when coming up with with my um uh, car ideas and if you're interested like i said i'm going to be releasing a free workshop where i'm going to be showing you exactly how to start uh with this process and so if you're interested in that, make sure you are on the wait list. It's uh, basically on the description of this video. It says something like heart making 101 um, uh, wait list. So make sure you're on that one so that you get the invitation for the workshop where I'll show you. Um, or I'll, uh, yeah, I'll show you how you can start with this whole process. Let me add one of these mini ones. Where are the mini dimensionals? I feel like I need one for the eye. It looks kind of by itself, yeah. And then, same thing with this. I want to make sure I'm using all the pieces. Because sometimes I end up with lots of um, scraps of the dimensionals. So let's just use those. Oh, of course. I'm going to be adding that one. That one too. So I have that one ready to go. So yeah, and again, it's on the description of this video. You can get the, um, join the waitlist if you want to be invited to that free work workshop where I'll be showing you how you can start with the process to come up with more cards. Because um, I feel that's one of the things, sometimes we come into our craft room and we have no clue what we're, what we're going to be doing, right? Like it just takes forever to come up with an idea. And by the time we, oh, I never took the, Packing. And by the time we come up with the idea, uh, it's time to go back, right? Like your crafting time might be might be finished, or at least that was the, the case for me. Uh, every time I come up with a car idea, it was like time for me to go back. And, um, and so that's how I decided like I needed to find a way um, to come up with as many cards really quick and easy. So definitely. All right, so let's see, does this one fit in this? Yes, it does. And so we're going to be putting this one right here. And so um, I will be putting a little bow. I think it will be nice if I put a bow. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead with the... Um, yeah, Margaret, if you, like, seriously, if you're interested in that, make sure you're on that wait list because soon, soon I will be releasing that workshop. And after that, I'll be opening the Cart Making 101 program. So if you're interested, make sure you are part of that. I think you're going to love it. 
and um, I'll go step by step as to how you can come up with cards either like in this case you can see I'm just using the same suite it might be for like a card class or maybe just for your crafting time or um, maybe a, a, a card set that you want to be given or just you know just want to be making cards at all times right it doesn't have to be a class or anything related but um, yeah so if you are interested make sure you're on that um, on that wait list. Let me see, I feel like this loop is kind of long. Yeah, this loop is kind of long. I don't like that. Let me cut it a little bit. There you go. Yes, much better. Or do I want it here? No, I do like it here. I'm gonna put it right here, actually. So, anyway. Now, at this point, as you saw, I'm running out of uh, paper, right? Because I've used it a lot for the design so you can see um, at least so far and let me show you all the cards that i've made so far i think this is card number six or seven let me see so you can see how many we have so far and all of them kind of look um the same but at the same time they're different right you have been changing some things on your cards how many do I have so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, so far I have seven. I've made already one um, as I was um, as I was uh, coming up with the idea. So here's another one. And you can see that in this case, I actually wrap around the twine. Um, but you can see how all of them kind of look really nice. But the next two are really uh, for you to start then using your um the scraps because at this point i've used a lot of it for the backgrounds and so i thought okay we need to start looking for other car ideas so these ones all of these were using the same um sketch which again it's gonna be this one and so at this point i'm running out of paper and so i thought okay let's start doing some cars so i have made three more cards but i'll show you two right now um with the uh, scraps so that you know uh, what to do then with the scraps and it's not quite the same sketch but they're kind of related <laughs> so you can see on this one i don't really have any more of the paper so at this point i'm just using whatever is left over from my um paper and i just cut it to the size like in this case i just cut it here because i only had like a strip that was two and a half right and i'm cutting my paper and in this case this one was three and three quarters is the same measurement as the ones that in the beginning and so i just cut it by three and um three and one and three quarters just to match this piece but you can see this is still the scrap the the paper i use for um for one of the uh cards so just use everything you have do not yeah do not waste it i mean you can make another card from here so this is what we're going to be doing on this and I'll show you that. So the next two are really uh, for you to, to see uh, how you can use the scraps. Can't, and at this point, it's not really following the design in a way because now I'm kind of doing something else with the background. But in a way, they're kind of related. <laughs> so I'm just going to be adding a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and add that one here hmm. yeah and then this one so I'm gonna go ahead and add this one like right here And then again, using the labels that I have been using or cutting out from my other cards, I'm gonna be adding this one. I'm gonna be putting this one, this one, and then have that one right there. And then this one go there. So you can see they kind of look similar, but it's not, right? Let me just, cause I have one more and then we'll call it a day. I know I've been showing so many today, but you can see how just pick a suite and yeah, let's make as many cars as you can. Seriously. Oh, 
Thank you. Thank you, Marty. So excited to see that you're loving it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right there. I did like this one a lot. So I might just put this one like on that. I might just put this one more like so. Cause I like this one and I like how it looks. Like I cut it in a way that um, I wanna make sure I was seeing the whole pattern there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this one here. And then this one. And again, this is now just using the scraps. As you can see. And then I'm going to be adding this one right there. I don't know that I like this one. I mean, I like how it looks, but uh, I don't know that it covers that other end. Let's just see. I might not use that one, you know? Plus, I love these little guys showing here. Yeah, I will not use that one. Yeah, I'm going to skip this one. I'll use it for something else later on, I'm sure. I'm sure I can come up with another idea for that one. So, yeah. So, let's just go ahead and use the dimensionals. And I need something for that one. I'll be using one of the mini dimensionals, like right there. Yep. So let's just. Oh, again, struggling with the dimensional. So let's see. Some are really easy to peel off and Somehow some are not, and they're from the same pack, so I don't know what the deal is. Usually they don't take, it's not that hard to pull them off, so I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Okay, here we go. I'm going to be adding this one right there. And I'm going to be adding one here, and then two of these ones. One for the eyes. Yep, and then one here. Alrighty, so there we go. Oh, and this one is showing up a little bit, so let's just move it a little bit. There we go. I like dimensional showing up. And then I'm going to be adding that one. Oh, thank you so much, Michelle. I'm glad you are enjoying it. Thank you, thank you. So. Oh uh, my gosh, seriously. All right, so there we go. We're gonna be adding this one right here. And then for this one then, I'm gonna be adding a bow and I'm gonna put it in white because this section is the pink. I could add the pink here, but I think I'll add the white. I'm just gonna use both. Then I'm gonna be adding that wink of a sail and then some of those little hearts. So again, just do the double bow. Okay, we're going to be adding this one right here. Yep, looks really cute. There we go. And of course, we're going to be adding the Wink of Estella. Oh, I think this one is already... Dying on me, so it might be time for me to get another one. 
I use this all the time. Wink of a Still is one of those things that I uh, use all the time. And um, yeah, definitely if you don't have it, I highly recommend it because you can see it adds that shimmer look super easy. I'm actually going to be adding also to the gift here as well. And then I'm going to be adding some of those little hearts as well. And uh, for this one, I'm just going to go and add, well, you know what? I might need to do some of the white bow, the white um, hearts because of that red paper. There you go. Oh, I love that one. It looks really cute. So anyway, so here's one more. What do you think? So, um, and then another one, and this is the final I'll be showing you for tonight. So you saw how many cards you can be making. It's just crazy, right? Um, so anyway, so this one, again, um, because I was planning on the scraps, you can see that I cut out one with the, what is this, the layering squares. Because again, at the beginning, I thought it was the squares and they weren't uh, for the other die cut. And so I know I'm going to be making another card with that one, but um, I use the paper. Like I said, I love cutting the paper um, and then use it for the mat. So I use this paper and so now I can go ahead and um, use it for this card. So let's just go ahead and do that. This one is real red and I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half. And so I'm going to go ahead and put this one right there right now. Yeah, like I said, this is one of the, I mean, you can do this with any suite for sure. But I thought this one uh, for the, for my little mini challenge, if you will, was how many cars can I come up with um, like a six by 12 paper, one of each sheet. So it was like six of those. And I mean, I still have some scraps that I'm trying to use, but you can see that you can make so many. And um, I love sharing with you all these tips because um, I feel like that always helps when you're making cars, don't you think? So anyway, okay, so now I have that section. Now, again, this is the scrap, but it wasn't long enough or wide enough. So this one is two and one quarter. And if you see that, I'm gonna have a piece that is not cover. So when I have that issue, that's when I come up with, oh, let's just add a little border, right? And I can make it to cover that section. So this is what I'm gonna be doing on this one. Because again, um, it wasn't wide enough, but I'm, now at this point, I'm only using the scraps. And so uh, when you're doing that, then you kinda have to be more, um, I don't know, creative as to how you can cover things because I didn't want to waste this piece of paper, right? And so, um, yeah, so let's just do that. So for this one, I'm gonna add adhesive here on this section. And we're gonna go ahead and, uh, let me see, how do I want this? Yeah. And I want a little bit of a border as you can see here. And then I'm gonna cut out this section. There you go. And so now I can cut out this section and everything is covered. It's like nothing was there, right? So um, try, yeah, try those type of things. Like I always try to use all my scraps. And um, yeah, I found it that that way it's just so much easier. So anyway, so we're gonna be putting this one like right here, let me see. I want to make sure I have lined them up. There we go. And so no one will ever know that there was a hole right there. Now for this one, again, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. I have here um, these hearts. And again, this is one of those that was my favorite. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little uh, piece there. So let's just cut out. Uh, 
the banner ends. And so now I'm going to go ahead and add that one. Like this one is too long still, so let's just cut a little bit more. Let's see. Is it enough? Uh, maybe still a little bit more. I'd rather cut more times than go too far, you know? So I don't mind being cutting it. Yeah, see that? Yeah, there we go. And I still think that it might be a little bit more, so I should have it been cut. But I always prefer doing that than cutting it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I like there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add this section. This one will go right here. By the way, what time is it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, this is kind of longer. But, I mean, we've done so many cars today, right? Let me just move them a little bit more. There we go. Oh, thank you so much, Russ. So now I'm going to go ahead and add this little guy. Have the, um, the sentiment here. And then add a little of those clusters here. Right? Like you're going to see it right there. I want that one to be there. So I'm going to be adding this one more towards this side. Yep. Like this. Right? I love how this look so definitely all right so for this one we're going to go ahead and start adding dimensionals and then i'm going to be adding one of this for that, and then let's just add two more of those, and maybe I'll add one of these as well. There we go. <clears throat> All right, so let's just go ahead. All right, one more. See how some are really easy to peel and some others aren't? I don't know why. Okay, so we have that one right here. I'm going to step, I'm going to wait because I want to make sure I have enough space for this one. So I know I want this one to be kind of like that. Yeah. And then have this little thing here. All right, so let's just add the glue dots on these. All right, then glue dots on this one as well. And this one, I'll put it with the... Um, Oh my goodness. With dimensionals. Oh my gosh. There we go. And so I'm going to be adding this one right here. And so now I know where I can have that... Um, There we go. Alrighty, and so now I can go ahead. Do I want to add a bow? Yeah, I think it will be nice to add a bow. Um, white will be nicer on this section, right? So let's just do a white bow. No, let me do this more towards this end. There we go. Yes, there we go. 
much better. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and add this one. Like right there. And so now we're going to be adding the wink of Estella and the little heart on the bow tie. Because I thought that was really cute. And we're going to be doing also the little bag that he is carrying it where he's carrying all the mail yeah i definitely will need to get a new because i can see where i have to be pressing too much for these areas now i might do a little bit on that present as well i just love the wink of a cell i mean it really adds a lot to your projects every single time definitely Okay, and now where are the, yeah, here. We're gonna go ahead and add one of the little ones. One of the white ones, actually. Oh my God, there we go. There we go. And here we have it. What do you think, guys? It's that and all look really cute. So yeah. Um, so, oh, and then there was another one that I already did because, I, again, I was just playing with the, with the scraps. So this is now literally just the scraps. And you can see this one. I kind of use a little piece of a scrap that I have from here. And, um, and as you can see, I just did it for the inside, but it kind of looks from the front. And this is where I use, um, the Escalop, um, what is it? The Escalop square from the layering squares. And then did a square that was two and one eighth by two and one eighth. And then did a little cluster of um, like the same that we did on this one, right? Now I did add a little um, heart on the envelope because I thought that would be really cute. But you can see how at this point I'm using more of the stamps and cardstock, not so much of the designer series paper because at this point I almost don't have any more of that designer series paper from the ones that I, um, from the, uh, what am I trying to say? From this um, paper that I decided to do, which was six by 12 of one of each of the different designs. So there was six of these and it was six by 12 and that's what I used for all my cards. And again, I think we did like 10 cards. Let's just see how many do we have. And I won't be able to, <laughs> I won't be able to ask as always, like which one is your favorite because there's so many. <laughs> But um, you can see these ones are more for like your scraps. They look kind of cute. I love them. I'll be honest. I love them a lot. And it kind of force you to be more creative as to how to accommodate the paper. Because um, at this point, you're just playing with the leftover scraps. But from the sketch, which if you were not at the beginning, this is the sketch that we're using. And you can see how easy it is. Um, you have the one sketch and you can change directions to make it horizontal. And from that sketch and this suite, you see how many with it. So one, two, and three, uh, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So eight from that sketch. And then with the three more, um, just using a scraps. And I think I might be able to do one more because like I said, I still have one of these little guys that I really like how it looks. So I might come up with another card just with that one. So again, lots of cards. Definitely, uh, I feel like you can do this with any suite. Again, just look for your paper, coordinating cardstock, embellishment that kind of go with that. And then just one sketch and do as many of them. Anyway, like I mentioned, um, I'm going to be doing a free workshop to help you get as many ideas, just to go through the process of how do I start to come up with so many uh, car ideas when I am working with my uh, my supplies. Um, and so if you're interested on that, to do something like this, make sure you are on my mailing list. Um, it's not the mailing list, sorry, on the wait list. And in the link, it would say car making 101 
wait list. Make sure you're on that list because that's where I'm going to be sending you the information about that free workshop. And then of course you'll get the information when the Car Making 101 program opens again, which is where I teach in more depth about uh, how to uh, make as many cars from the one set. So anyway, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, let me know what you like overall from this uh, whole um, video. I know it was longer than usual, but I want to share with you as many cars as I could. So thank you so much. I'll be reading you and, and next week I'll be back on Thursday since Friday is not my usual day. But um, so to next week, I'm going to go into our regular time. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you being here. And again, let me know um, what is it you like from this video. <laughs> All right. So thank you. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.